Hi, I'm Dr. Joni Liu, and I'm back with another Cosmic Tidbit. Now, last time I talked to you about my trip and the fact that I didn't have any expectations whatsoever. So it turned out really well because I didn't have any expectations. I want to remind you about something that I talked about a while ago, but I need to be talking about these things more often. We are each born with invisible helpers. The sage is the first one, and then we have just about an infinite number of helpers depending on what you need help with. So we have the visible world and the invisible world. The invisible world is where we have to depend on getting that help. Uh, because right now, you know, people expect you to depend on them, or actually maybe they don't. The government, the uh, schools, your job, our families, our culture, they kind of tell you that you can depend on us. But haven't you noticed that they're actually not very dependable? They're not there when you need them. Think of a time when uh, maybe, you know, you're in traffic, something has happened up ahead and you kind of avoid it. Well, those are your helpers that are helping you avoid it. Think of a time when you really wanted something to happen and it seemed impossible. Think about that. Well, that's because you had helpers, but you didn't know that they were there. So every now and then, even though you don't know that they're there, they will come and help you and maybe even come to your rescue. But the thing is, is that because you don't know that they're there, you don't know to ask. And maybe, you know, you're talking to them like angels, or you think of them as devils, or you think of them as a god. Well, they're not. Because we have to go back to the cosmic principle of harmony, of equality. Everything and everyone in the cosmos is equal. So you're equal to it, and they are equal to you. Everything in the cosmos is equal. So if we elevate or demonize these invisible helpers, then they will run away out of integrity because they are your equals. <laughs> They're not going to help you if you either put them on a pedestal or treat them as inferiors, okay? Because they're not going to treat you that way either. So going back to my story, I wanted to talk more about having no expectations. So in essence, I didn't also include no expectations, no intentions, and no projecting. Because this is about keeping your mind innocent. When your mind is innocent, then all the good things can happen. So if you're not worried, if you trust in the invisible world to help you and you ask them for help in a humble, modest, sincere way, then they will come and help you. So that's what I have to say about Cosmic Tippets today. I'll be back again soon. Bye.